So tonight is not an unusual Thursday night meeting if you guys can see. We're all here in the hall. But today is a, a celebration meeting. It's our, it's our turn to, to give a little speaking and share our enjoyment from the semester. Pour out our enjoyment. So what I, what I enjoyed most this semester was actually the topic in our, uh, in our Bible studies on Tuesday. Topic of Christ versus religion. Mm-hmm. Uh, this semester, it, it really showed me who the Lord was, more of his character, more, more of who he was. Mm-hmm. Not just doctrine and what I read in books, but I got to touch the Lord this semester. Yeah. Which I thought was great because the Bible studies we went over, we, we just saw over and over again how the Lord came in and was just so against, so against religion. That's right. and, and in a sense, it's, it's comforting to know that we're out of religion. Um, so I was just thinking, like listening to the message, like, wow, Lord, you know, this is me. You know, I'm laboring without you. I'm trying to be a good person. I'm always anxious. And, you know, even and when there's suffering, it's like, oh, I've just got to grit your teeth and get through it, you know. Yeah. So when we're living the Jubilee, these things like, you know, the three labors, they don't, you don't try, you're not trying to be a good person. And because you have the Lord as your full supply when you're living in the Jubilee, you're not anxious, you know. Uh, and then when you have the Lord as your supply, even if there is suffering, outwardly there, uh, there may be suffering, but inwardly you <coughs> won't be suffering because the Lord will supply you. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to send away and release those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year, acceptable year of the Lord, the year of Jubilee. And the verse 21 says, And he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Mm-hmm. How, how can the Lord say that? Because he himself was the Jubilee. And he, today he's continually being Jubilee to us. In order for us to enjoy him as Jubilee, we must see that he is living in us, in our spirit. So whenever we turn to our spirit and say, Lord Jesus, I love you. And say, praise the Lord. You're, you're living in the reality of Jubilee. Well, I really enjoy how the Lord is the great I am. Mm-hmm. And whatever he is, I mean, whatever you want him to be, you will be whatever you want. Uh, when we went over positional sanctification and just the significance of seeking the Lord mm-hmm. um, in the appropriate place almost, that mm-hmm. it, it got to me because I was, th- you know, it made me realize that you know, I'm not investing the time wisely. Wow. You know, I'm investing it in, you know, in having fun. But then I'm, in, I'm investing this time into pleasing my flesh, not really pleasing, you know, God. You know, so it, I think that's the greatest part is that, like, if you feel like calling on the Lord's name like 20 times a day, you're gonna get the jubilee 20 times that day. Wow. Yeah. That's, like, that's the coolest thing about that. So. I also got to meet new people at the college conference at Big Bear. Wow. And then what I enjoy is basically learning about God more deeply and falling in love with Him more deeply. Mm-hmm. One of the meetings we talked about um, repenting. Mm-hmm. And that was really important to me because a lot of times people think like, I'll just go do something and then I'll make up for that sin or this, that. Mm-hmm. But to actually go to Him and tell Him we're sorry is a really good thing. I appreciate more of what the Lord, of uh, what Jubilee is because um, if you think about it from the children of Israel side, they, they lost their land and they lost even their own freedom. They became slaves. But then after 50 years, they can return back to they can return back to the land and back to their families, and they're free. So they're not going to be just smiling and like just laughing a little bit, but they're going to be like shouting and celebrating. And that's kind of sort of how we should be, because we're living in the, the age of Jubilee right now. It's really, really hard not to be in religion. I mean, you don't find this kind of atmosphere in a lot of places. And um, it's just, as you progress in the Lord and you start to learn more about Him, it's not black or white anymore. And it's just a million shades of gray. And that's, in a way, in itself, it's so liberating to know that you're not governed by these rules Mm -hmm. and that you'll never really know the right answer because it's just this person living in me. What is the Christian life? It's a day-by-day life Mm -hmm. and we have to have the prayer with one another, the personal times with the Lord Mm -hmm. and it's just 
you know, thanking the Lord for everything that goes right and everything that goes wrong. And, mm-hmm. you know, we, it's not our strength, like Kimonara said, it's just the Lord working in us. And mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. our living just needs to be a living one with the Lord. Mm-hmm. And this is like hard to do, but mm-hmm. over our life, we just need to spend time in his word right. and with one another. And that's what brings us, that, that's what makes us the jubilant Christians is just mm-hmm. his life imparted into us. And I also met a lot of people who are broken. They are in search of something right. spiritual. Right. Right. They're like searching for this one thing that will fill this empty void inside of them. Right. And that thing is God. I mean, a lot of them are searching. A lot of them are on the right path towards Christianity. I really have been enjoying this semester uh, preaching the gospel on campus because I don't like speaking to people at all. And so, um, fortunately, we go out in pairs. So, But when we go out and speak to people, uh, it's so important that we first begin with prayer. Because if we come to the Lord first, then what we speak is going to be from the Lord. Yeah. So we, like, I feel like we should all aspire to go out and preach the gospel yeah. daily. But we first need to make sure that we're coming to the Lord ourselves. Yeah. Uh, it's just really encouraging to go on Thursday nights to Bible study, like after having a rough weekend. It's cool to be uh, like surrounded by like uh, by like-minded uh, believers, mm-hmm. and just trying to get closer to God every day by reading the Bible and, and praying. I think one of the biggest things I got out of um, the weekend up in Big Bear is just. The, the word practice, mm-hmm. that we can't, you know, have Christ with us unless we practice it. Reading our Bible, praying, right. um, just living each moment with Him. Mm-hmm. Um, and I found that through that, I am praying more. I am um, reaching out to more. So I think there was a time where He said it, one of the speakers said in traffic, you know, you can say, praise Jesus, I get I get time with you. <laughs> so it's, it's just been nice communing with him as I travel for 